would just like to start off by saying how proud of myself I am because I've drawn mermaids, mermaids, what in the world is a mermaid? <laughs> I've drawn mermaids before, but I've never posted them online because they were kind of wonky. And I don't like po posting wonky stuff on the internet because then I'll just think about it forever and be like, why in the universe did I post that one? <laughs> But, um, this mermaid here that I'm drawing is the first one I've ever posted online and I'm proud of myself and it turned out pretty good. Um, though I did mess up her tail, which is like the thing that I always mess up because it's kind of weird to put a fish body on a person and make it look right, at least for me, so, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I f did a Copic drawing of this mermaid first before I did the bigger illustration, and that turned out good, and I liked the pose, so I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this, I'm finally gonna do it, and I did. <laughs> um, and in the Copic drawing, um, I had her holding her tail, and like she was shy, and her hair, and her thin tail fish things <laughs> all flowy and stuff and I, I thought it was cute and so what do you do and I don't have a lot of pink Copics which is like one of the main colors that I use in this painting so the Copic drawing it's kind of orangey like her hair is orangey and not pink so there's plant and in the Copic drawing I made her skin kind of pink but for uh, this watercolor painting I made it like a really light brown so that there's that and also put scales on her arms because I thought that sounded cool so there's that too <laughs> and I used to draw a lot of characters with um, a naturally colored hair like blue hair and purple hair and stuff like that well I, I guess well there's my OC Quanell she has unnatural colored hair but she's like the only one so it was kind of nice to do something unusual again because I, I usually just go for black or dark brown whenever I'm coloring someone's hair because that's just that's what I have so you know yeah, that's what I need. <laughs> yep. And I mentioned that I messed up her tail. So in the Copic drawing, it's like really close to her body and she's like holding on to it. And in this drawing, I made it kind of like you can see more of her body than you should. Like than in the Copic drawing. And I was like, wow. And I didn't realize that until the end. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so I used colored pencils and I kind of like brought the tail closer to her um, and it, you can kind of tell that like it wasn't there originally at least I can tell because I know it wasn't there originally <laughs> but it's I mean it doesn't look too bad so it looks like it's kind of like that part of her tail is shaded and you'll see that part soon it's coming up so yeah also in the Copic drawing I made background black and gray because like underwater it's not really bright under there unless the water's shallow and the sun's shining so yeah also didn't use any references which for someone who doesn't know how to draw mermaids it probably should have but I didn't because um, I don't know just sometimes I just don't use references even though I know I should and like when I'm doing the drawing I'm like I should probably use a reference for this but I don't. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you should use references. Don't don't be like me. Don't not use references, because then you'll have to fix mistakes right at the end after you've done all this work. And now you're like, oh my goodness, I probably should have used a reference, <laughs> like I am now. So, don't do that. And I, um, because like she, it's a black background, and I wanted her. Fins, I guess you call them, I don't know. <laughs> what do you call mermaid parts? I don't know. But I wanted it to look like it was kind of translucent, so after I added the black background, which I'm about to do right now, I had kind of went over her fin a little bit with some gray 
Well, it's really just watered down black, but watered down black watercolor looks gray, so that's what I did. Yeah. Also used some, um, well, one glitter spick of pen. I don't know the color. I'm looking at it. I should totally get this stuff ready before I hit record. <laughs> but it's a Copic Spica glitter pen and it's color baby blue. And it's not really pigmented. It's like really light. But you can see it on white. But you can't see it on darker things. And it's really sparkly. That's what I used in her fin and in her hair. And I don't have a red Spica glitter pen, so I didn't use it on her tail. I don't know, all these mermaid turns and stuff that make me uncomfortable. But I just used a Posca white pen on that to make it look kind of shiny. Yeah, and I like how it turned out. Oh, also I didn't do the line art with the Copic Multiliner like I usually do. I used Prismacolors, which was something new. There's me fixing the tail. Yeah. I should have used a reference. Anyway, um, that is it. And here is the finished drawing. Yay! Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please enjoy the rest of your day.